my question uh, is about this gruesome, you know, horrible act that happened yesterday at Kashmir, and we saw 40 plus Jawans killed. So I don't know how. What's the psyche of these people who can get into a car with 300 kgs of ammunition and you know just blast? See, um, as I said earlier, we're still not in that level of human consciousness where all boundaries and borders can be just wiped out and human beings just embrace each other and live, there's no such love affair going on, okay <laughs> Still, uh, national identities, religious identities, various other kinds of ideological identities set us against each other. It is... Uh, it is as simple as it is, but when it comes as to how it manifests on the ground, it's too complex. It's not something you can solve like that. So, in the making of a nation, in the making of a nation, one important thing is the sovereignty of the nation. Because nation exists only because of its borders. This may be an unpopular thing to say in United States right now, but you call something a nation, only the first and foremost is the geographical border, isn't it? Well, people can go this way, that way, people can change their language, people can change their religion, people can change their beliefs and ideologies, but it's a geography which is the first dimension of making of a nation. So this sovereignty should not have been dragged for so long after independence. It's a serious mistake. It should have been settled immediately. But unfortunately, they did not settle it for... I mean, I don't want to make a... Uh, political post-mortem now, but it's a serious mistake not to settle the sovereignty of the nation, not to fix the boundaries and say, this is it. Still, it is a line of control. It's not the national borders, it is still a line of control which is always out of control. And uh, there are various things, I don't want to give a political commentary now. So you're asking about the mindset. The mindset is like this. This has been in many ways put across. They are fighting for what they believe in. You are trying to fight for what you believe in. And this will go on endlessly, you understand? Either you must change your belief system or they must change their belief system. And that doesn't look like in your future, <laughs> all right? That doesn't look like that. But either you must have the wisdom to end the enmity. You must kill the enmity. You must have that wisdom. If there is no room for that wisdom, unfortunately, it will naturally translate into killing the enemy. It will naturally go there. Whether you li Am I propounding this? No. It will naturally get there whether you like it or you don't like it. So just because somebody lives across the border, do you want to kill them? Definitely not. But at the same time, do you want to protect what you see as this nation? This is an unfortunate dilemma of being human. If you were an animal, anybody crosses your boundary, enters your territory, you just kill him, all right? Hello? But this is the dilemma of being human. Somebody crosses your boundary, you... you may have to kill him, but you don't really want to kill him. This is the struggle of being human. This struggle must be there in a human being always. If this struggle goes away, you will become an animal. This struggle must exist within us, but still acting decisively for the larger well-being of a nation has to happen. Why I'm talking about a nation is for me, nation is not a political entity, nation is not my nationalism, I, I don't belong to that. For me, nation is the largest amount of population you can address right now. If you want to bring well-being, you cannot address the globe. Hello? You cannot address the whole globe just like that. It is not within your means to address the globe. 
The best thing you can address right now, the largest human entity you can address right now is nation. If you go down, maybe there are states, maybe there are religions, maybe there are castes and creeds and all kinds, don't go there. Address the nation because it's the largest segment of humanity you can address right now. In that context, sovereignty of the nation becomes of prime importance. Well, what has to be done has to be done, but we must have pain in our heart. Even when we cause damage to somebody who is a threat to us, we must have some pain in our heart, otherwise we will lose our humanity.